All right, y'all. So currently, I am doing Instacart. We just had a big snowstorm a couple days ago, and right now it is currently nine degrees with a wind chill effect until tomorrow. Now, if y'all don't know, Pontiac, Michigan is a small city here in Michigan where I was born and raised and lived my entire life. As y'all can see, nobody wants to shop when it's nine degrees right after a snowstorm. Why she just lock her car doors that many times? And to be honest, I really don't need to be out here when I'm still not all the way over my coat, but it's too much money be made. It's like every time I log on to my Instacart app, it's just about 100 orders on that mug. I'm like, bro, I just can't resist. It's just so much money that's just there. So I'm out shopping right now, making a little extra money. Now, if y'all don't know, a couple videos ago, I told y'all that I did finally receive my money from Facebook. Now, if y'all don't know, you can earn money on Facebook. They got a performance bonus program. Uh, it's an invite only program. So sometimes your page might be eligible. Sometimes it's not. It's just they'll let you know when your page is eligible to earn. If you already know that and you got Facebook, I would suggest you get on there and check to see if your page is eligible. Um, but you can earn a lot of money, man. But yeah, y'all, I've earned a total of a little over $4,000 from my Facebook post alone. And when I say I almost cried when they paid me that money, bro, I can't lie. I almost cried, bro, because that money came in so clutch. But I put that money right in my savings. I mean, I took a little bit so I can have for gas and, you know, catch up some of my bills and all of that. But everything else, I just put it up in my savings. And a lot of y'all might think like $4,000 is a lot of money. It is, but it goes quick. You know what I'm saying? $4,000 ain't really nothing for real. I'm about to show y'all the high school I went to while I'm riding past here. Damn, I'm sliding everywhere. Y'all want to see me do this? Uh, y'all want to see me do this? Uh, donut. It looked like somebody was already right here doing donuts. Watch this donut real quick. Watch this. Let me quit playing. But, uh, oh, shit, hold on. I ain't trying to do this no more. Stop, stop, stop. That's my high school I went to, y'all. I spent my entire life at this school, y'all. I went to this side of the school from kindergarten all the way up to, like, I think it was the eighth grade, right? And then when I got to high school, I went right across the building to there. And I spent from ninth grade to twelfth grade, right? So I spent 12 years of my life at one school which is crazy bro and then they had built this gym i believe i was like maybe in the ninth or tenth grade when they built this gym and everybody just thought it was kind of crazy that they put a gym right in the middle of the parking lot but it's like where else was they gonna put this motherfucker <laughs> so but it's cool that they uh had a gym here because i was a part of the basketball team in ninth and tenth grade and uh <coughs> I ain't like school, bro. I, I, I really wasn't a big school type of person. Um, I was kind of lame uh, in high school. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was lame in high school. But I wasn't like lame, lame. I was just like, okay, let me put it like this. You got the lame people. You got the popular people. And then you got people like me. I was in between. I didn't sit at the lame table or the popular table, I sat at my own table. You feel me? I was just to myself a lot. High school was like the four worst years of my life, simply because I didn't have no friends. I was always a loner. All I did was focus on dancing because when I was in high school, I was still a dancer. A lot of y'all don't know that, right? I, I just focused on my dance and stuff. I never did my work and I barely graduated from this motherfucker. I had to take like uh after school classes to catch up my credits i literally ain't do shit in high school bro i literally came because i had to and i actually dropped out uh my first month of 12th grade <laughs> i told my mama i'm like mama i'm not doing this shit bro i'm done <laughs> my mom was like dante just 
give yourself some time. And my mom gave me a few weeks. And then I got it, I got it together. And then I was like, fuck it, let me just knock out this last year. But yeah, I barely graduated this motherfucker. But uh, I just got to Meyer and uh, I'm about to get in here and do this last order. Oh, something I want to tell y'all too. Um, I told y'all that right now I'm in the process of getting hired to be a school bus driver. And what I didn't tell y'all, and this is for the people who actually watch my videos, y'all get the tea. Um, this company that that just hired me again is a company that I applied to before uh, that didn't hire me because I have a retail fraud on my record. But this year is the year that the retail fraud is supposed to be expunged from my record due to Michigan's clean slate law. So I applied again and the same hiring manager hired me again. And she was like, this time we're going to make sure we get you hired. So I'm taking her word for it. So you feel me? If I get hired, then great. If I don't, for whatever reason, it is what it is. I'm going to have to just move forward accordingly. But the good news is I have my Instacart app right now that I can keep a decent amount of money in my pocket. And I have my money that I got from Facebook uh, to, you know, keep me afloat for a while. So hopefully I get hired because they got a big hiring bonus going on right now. And, you know, it's 24 hours and I got previous school bus driving experience. So hopefully I get hired. But y'all already know that I'm going to let y'all know the T right they should let me know sometime uh this upcoming week because they doing my background check right now so they saying hopefully it doesn't flag my background but she said if it does flag my background again she was like all she got to do is just talk to the hiring manager at the location that i applied to because the choice will be up to the actual location manager and what i did was i wrote the location manager a letter explaining to him that the retail fraud will be expunged from my record and that it was a mistake i made as a young teenager and you know i got previous school bus driving experience so hopefully everything goes smooth so i will let y'all know this upcoming week if they decide to move all the way forward with hiring me um i got a good feeling but at the end of the day i'm not about to completely rely on it but hopefully they do hire me but i will let y'all know um uh, but yeah we got an interesting week coming up i'm about to get up in this mire and do this order uh vlogs are coming y'all they coming so make sure you subscribe if you ain't subscribed. I will never tell you to subscribe, but subscribe. Thank y'all for watching as always. I appreciate y'all and I will see you in my next vlog.